Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, if you're new to the channel, I am a digital marketer. I specialize in helping artists like yourself get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, like Instagram, like YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today are the do's and don'ts of Instagram automation. Now, this video pretty much came from a conversation that I had with a friend. She got reached out to by someone who wanted to help her grow her Instagram account using a couple automation things. So we had a conversation about it. And after having that conversation, I realized that some of the questions she was asking are probably some of the questions that those of you who have heard of Instagram automation may have so I decided to share it in this video and for those of you who don't know what automation is I'll be sure to explain it give you guys a couple of do's and don'ts as far as Instagram automation and let you know if I think it actually works but before we get into all of that come follow me on Instagram I make sure to put my ad name on the screen come talk to me come engage with me come give me some video ideas all of that good stuff now with that being said let's get right into it so what exactly is Instagram automation it's pretty much getting a software or a program to automate certain tasks from your Instagram account. It may be to automatically like someone's post or to leave a comment on the post or to follow and follow certain people. It's all kind of different tasks that you can automate from your Instagram account if you know what you're doing. The idea behind automation is that you increase your engagement with other profiles, therefore increasing engagement back to your own profile. So someone sees you like their picture, they come back and check you out. Someone sees a comment that you left, they click on your profile, go check around, look at your content, look at the links you have in your bio, so on and so forth. And I can say from personal experience that this does work automation can be a useful tool in helping to grow your Instagram account when done right it can be the difference between growing a couple of hundred followers a month and growing a couple of thousand followers a month but it can also be the difference in getting your account shadow banned or even worse deleted if you don't know what you're doing now I'm not gonna tell you if you should or if you shouldn't do it that decision is pretty much up to you and your team and depends on how fast you want your account to grow and what you're willing to do however for those of you that are considering automation I do want to give you a couple of do's and don'ts so that your bot doesn't and get you penalized on Instagram. So firstly, do set your bot to auto like, don't set your bot to auto follow, unfollow, auto comment, anything like that. The reason being is that these are the spammiest bots out there. These are the ones that get ignored. These are the ones that get blocked. These are the ones that we can tell are bots. I don't know if you've ever posted something, you've used a certain hashtag and you'll get a comment that says something like, hey, great post. Or you know, it may say something like, what's the popular one? When I get all the time and someone to comment, XYZ just heard your song, this is lit. We want you to send him some beats, let's check it out. I'm like, bro, I'm not even a rapper, man. Have you looked at my profile? Have you seen anything that's going on. And the reason that this doesn't work is that technology has not advanced to the point where you can create a bot that can leave a unique comment on every single post. Like it's just not gonna happen, it's just not possible. So instead of risking it, instead of risking potential fans to block you or to, you know, never check out your post again, it's better to not do it at all. Now, the best way to push out this engagement is to set the bot to auto like. Auto likes are harmless. When people get likes on their picture, they still go back and look at the account that provided them with the like. So it's still a successful way to push people back to your profile using these bots. And secondly, do set your bot to a medium or a low speed. Don't set your bot to move too fast. Now, this will make more sense once you actually find a program that you want to use for automation, but in most of them, you get the option to set the speed at which your account likes these posts or follows and unfollows. They usually have like a low setting, a medium setting, and a high setting. Like I said, it's different for each software, but typically it looks like that. Now, the reason that you don't want to hit the high setting or anything faster than that is because it starts to look unnatural. Once it starts to look unnatural, Instagram catches on, once Instagram catches on, that's when you put yourself in a whole world of problem with your account that you don't want to get into. So in order to avoid this, in order to stay in Instagram's good graces and kind of fly under the radar, you want to set this speed to go as low as possible or just so it looks natural. So it looks like a person that's just on Instagram liking pictures going about their normal day. And thirdly, do target relevant hashtags and pages. Don't just auto like everything. Now, this is still marketing, guys. You still want to hit people that are relevant to your content, that are relevant to your sound and that are relevant to your niche. When you set up these bots to just auto like anything and anyone, you're starting to hit people that don't really care about you. Overall, lowering your engagement on your profile and pretty much making the bot useless. Like I said, this bot is a tool to find people that are relevant to your audience and to hopefully add on to your fan base and add on to your following, not just to build up your following for the sake of just being able to say, hey, I have a large Instagram account. 
So there we have it guys, those are my three do's and don'ts for if you decide to try out Instagram automation. Now like I said, it can be an effective way to grow your profile and to hit relevant people that may like your content and your music, but if abused and used incorrectly, then it can definitely damage your profile in the long run. So I want to hear from you guys, let me know if you've ever tried out Instagram automation, have you ever done it, are you trying it right now, is it working out for you? Drop it in the comment section below so that I can read through them and see how it's going for you. Now as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video, hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.